overall at your performance today? I felt really good. Um, like I said, uh, in the past, me and Ramos just you know, have a real, really good thing going back there. You know, keep the rhythm going, and uh, it was good. I felt really good out of the gates. Um, you know, I felt like everything was working. Uh, they made a little bit of adjustment, and it turned into a, a grind for me a little bit. They were five pitches off and, and working good at bats, but I felt like it was good. That's a really good line up there across the, you know, the hallway. How did you get out of those tough jams? I mean, you, know, you threw a lot of curveballs. Is that, was that in the mindset going into that? Yeah, right out of the gates, the curveball was uh, working well for me today. So uh, we just we hung with it. Uh, that's that's what we stayed with. Um, you know, it's just the the way it played out today. To do things like start an inning when you're already at 100 pitches to face black man after that spot. What does that kind of trust from the coaching staff mean to you? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, especially with the pitch count up like that, um, top of the uh, lineup coming up again. Um, it, it's nice when they uh, when they have trust in you like that. It gives you it definitely gives you confidence. What did Dave say when he came out there in the sixth? Uh, he's just like um, he asked me if I wanted this guy, and he's like, I have the power to take you out right now. You know, because Mickey was out, and uh, he's just reassured me. That, you know, if I wanted him, and uh, I told him yeah, so uh, he just said go get him then. Even if you don't have a sort of like that one tonight, do you need to show it? Um, it all depends on what I got going that night. Um, I don't know. It's tough to say. Um, you know, like tonight, uh, you know, uh, it was going for me tonight. So let's just keep going back to it until they show me something on it. Um, maybe um, that's something I could possibly look at. You gave a, a little pop at the end of the 120th. Did you feel strong at the end? Of I did. Um, you know, I, I did feel really good tonight, right out of the gate. Um, you know, they, they put great at bats together. Uh, you know, second, third time through the lineup. And so, uh, you know, it did definitely turned to be a bit of a grind, but I felt strong all the way through. Do you worry about your arm injury at all when you're pitching the uh, No, um, I felt really good tonight. Um, I think, um, you know, it's something that I want to do. I want to just keep going back out there and, you know, have a high pitch count. Um, I think that's cool. I, you know, I think, you know, that's what a start pitchers want to do is be really durable. So it's, it's cool that I was able to do that tonight. What was the thought process in the bat? I think it was early against Murphy when you went up and in, and then you struck him out uh, with a fastball in the corner. Yeah, I definitely wasn't trying to go up, up around there. Um, you know, he stands on the plate, and I was trying to go in, and I uh, missed a few times arm side up, up that way today. Uh, definitely wasn't trying to go up there. Um, but that's what happened. Steve, you guys are such the strength of the team, the rotation. Do you realize how much is kind of on your shoulders now? Like you mentioned. He thought it was important to get the pitch count up high mm -hmm. and to stay in games longer. Do you guys kind of feel that as a group now? Um, you have to kind of push that, push the envelope forward. I think that's something that um, is always there as starting pitchers. You know, you want to go as deep into the game as possible. Um, so, you know, to have that type of kind of durability on the starters and go deep into the games is is a good thing. So I don't think anything's really changed. I think that's something that we've always the mindset we had and maybe we're starting to establish. I know you obviously trust all your bullpen guys, but um, Lugo in particular has been effective and he can do a lot of things. And what's just the comfort level of having him come in behind you? Um, it's really high. Um, his stuff is, is electric, you know, with his, his curveball, his fastball. I mean, it's not often that you see you know, a reliever come, up, come out, come in the game with four really good pitches. You know, normally they're two pitch guys. So uh, he's just been electric and, you know, we definitely have a lot of confidence in him coming behind us. Pete, uh, Mickey said that might be the third highest home run in the history of baseball. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, I, I hit, I saw it go off the bat. I'm like, wow, that ball was really up there. And then, <laughs> thankfully, it, it carried over the wall for me because I, I, I thought it was uh, just a just a fly ball. And then I saw um, outfielder kind of go against the wall, and then I'm like, wow, that, that ball's carrying out there. And then. And then I, I saw it hit. I didn't know it hit above above the wall, so I just kept running. Um, and then I finally got the call from the umpire at home run. I was like, wow, that's <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> so what's the bang-bang thought process when you decide to go for third, then get tagged out, and then realize it's a homer? I, don't, I didn't think I was out. I thought I avoided <laughs> the tag. Um, but, um, I mean, the thought process was, I mean, I saw the ball kind of carry him away. And... If I could get to third and put Dom in, a, in an RBI situation, and I mean that could uh, lead to a lot of runs and us putting a crooked number on the board, and I uh, was just being aggressive, and then um, it just turned out to be a homer. So I was like, "All right, sweet." 
So, I mean, that's, that's, that was definitely an interesting one, probably one of the most interesting ones I've hit, for sure. <laughs> One of the things Mickey said after the game is you've really taken on a leadership role with the team as a player. Can you talk about that a little bit and, like, and how you go about doing that? Um, I mean, I, I don't try and, and be um, a leader. I just want to just go out there and play as hard as I can. You know, I just want to uh, just bring good energy and uh, keep people up in the dugout. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm trying to take on a role. I'm just playing the game I love and I'm just supporting my teammates. That's That's really... That's really it, honestly. I'm just trying to trying to win and trying to hype guys up and uh, just be a good teammate. That's that's essentially it. 21 homers in your first year that you I mean, do you ever look at your numbers and kind of pinch yourself sometimes? Yeah, I mean it's it's a really good situation. Uh, I've been playing really well and I just want to continue to do so. I mean we got a long long way to go, and um, I mean hopefully we can. Keep this, uh, keep this up, and win some more ball games. You know.